Hi, it's Michael Hamilton here, and Dan McNichol here. I wrote to you when you're in Belmar Zeal, Peter. You never replied to my letter, so here is another one. I still would like you to tell me how you got my daughter, Vicky Hamilton, into your care. Well, I can only think you used your son as bait. I say that word, bait. That is ridiculous. To get your own needs. And this stands for Dynamo Nickel and Angelica Cluke as well. You're not even man enough to admit what you've done to these three girls. The amount of suffering they went through. So come on, Peter, stand up and be a man. And admit to the police what you have done. Listen to me calling you a man. When there is not even a word in the dictionary to describe you. So if you can't read this, like the last time I wrote you, Maybe that is because you were too busy out killing women instead of learning to read and write. So come on, Peter, ask the governor for pen and paper and get someone to help you, like one of your so-called mates. Mind you, you don't have any mates in Sorkin Prison and you're not going to Peter Head for a long time. But then maybe never again and that would be a blow to your ego. As far as a heart scare goes, not even a maybe. What is going through your mind, Tobin? You're not even man enough to answer me. You can't, you can kill our daughters, yet you can't tell us why. You can't apologise for what you did to our daughters. Did your mother give you a bad life as a boy, or did your father? Bet they were proper good parents. Did they love your brothers and sisters more than you? Did a woman do you wrong? Did she? You took your temper out on young girls. Why not boys? I'll tell you why. They would have kicked your balls up your back for a humph. You know you're a pervert and a paedophile. Vicky was only 15. That makes you a pedo. You will never get a chance again to touch girls' flesh. Or put things right with God. Why should you want to keep on suffering? What have I ever done to you? I have never harmed you, so why put me through this? I'm asking you what possessed you to murder my daughter. Why kill such a lovely girl? What did you what that you that did you know wrong? And you know you are going to die a sad and lonely pedophile. I'm going to pray to God that when you die, your soul won't leave this earth or your soul will walk within the four walls of your prison cell for all eternity. So you won't just be in your prison cell until you die. You will remain there forever in that little cell that you detest. I've enclosed a CD with this letter for you to watch. You obviously haven't learned to write. We didn't know you were a dyslexic, a dyslexic pedophile, and that is a good one.